extended um, and operations were curtailed in that area. Um, not over local airspace here, there is one minor restriction that we have, and it's to the south. Um, there is an airway with a base of uh, about 7 miles. Then position the aircraft for weapons relief. Heading 170, miss off on the left rail, half clear, in constraint. Flying the aircraft into position, the pilot has set the conditions for the front seat gunner to engage the target with a radar-guided Hellfire missile. eliminated, the crew can climb into a wheel, trip at the target to assess and ensure that the device is back to the The gunner's scan with the cameras is interrupted as the pilot spots enemy soldiers from a dug-in position bringing a heavy machine gun to bear in the aircraft's direction. Good effects on target, four enemy vehicles destroyed, radar threat eliminated. Pilot helmet sight, dismount HMG, my gun, auto range, firing... Using his helmet mounted monocle as a sight, the pilot slaves the gun to his eye line and engages simply by looking at the target and pulling the trigger. The Wildcat. He has operational experience in Afghanistan and Northern Ireland. Establishing now in the high hover at 800 feet, you can see the Apache's powerful hover performance. Tim will initiate a dive with the psychic stick to 80 degrees nose down before rolling through 90 degrees while it's always vertical. Offensive actions, helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft of the Army Air Corps can also provide reconnaissance of a mixed loadout of rockets and missiles. Each rocket launcher that you can see on the outboard pylon houses 19 70mm folding fin rockets, while the missile racks can hold up to four radar or laser-guided Hellfire missiles. 
These pylons will automatically articulate through 90 degrees to keep the weapons in firing constraints for as long as possible. Both the rockets and missiles can engage targets up to ranges of 8 kilometers, while the powerful 30 mm cannon mounted under the fuselage require high explosive rounds out to beyond 4 kilometers with a sighted rate of 625 rounds a minute. ever since. These modern helicopters are, as the aircraft were then, commanded, flown and supported by soldiers who were trained predominantly by in the land environment. Demonstrating the awesome power of the two turbo mecha engines mounted either side of the fuselage. Each engine provides over 2,300 sharp horsepower, meaning together they produce more power than four Formula 1 racing cars. As the crew reset for the signature finale of the Apache display, we'd like to ask you to put your hands together and show thanks for our partners at Event Horizon for providing today's pyrotechnics. If you are out capturing quick straws today, this may be one you'd like to take home with you. So please do have the cameras and are ready for a final time. If you would like to take home with you, so please do have your cameras and are ready for a final time. Ladies and gentlemen, the British Army Apache attack helicopter.